Hi, my name is Mike Hamilton, Director of Product Marketing at 21CT. In this screencast, I'm walking you through a brief demonstration that illustrates the power and functionality of network behavioral analysis and visualization using Linksion. What you'll see on the screen here is two internal hosts, as indicated by blue terminals, that uh, have communicated with each other over SMB, as indicated by this notice. I also have a dangling notice here uh, as set up for the purposes of the demo. And I'm simply going to right click, expand all the relationships to quickly visualize what's happening and who else is associated with this notice. You can see I have a third internal host that has also been communicating with another internal host. This is interesting behavior because as a part of the 12 indicators of compromise insight brief that 21CT recently published, internal to internal communication uh, amongst endpoints is a, a unique behavior that there's very little reason for happening on in a typical corporate network. Now that I've identified a third host, I want to quickly get a little more context on what else this particular user or host was doing at the same time. What I'll quickly see is it called out to a Russian uh, IP address, as indicated by the RU country code, uh, on an FTP session with the username DigitalW. I'm quickly going to look for the other metadata associated with that session and see that a file transfer was completed with a unique looking file name as well as the network sensor that uh, uh, picked up on this, uh, on this scenario in the first place. Essentially what you're looking at is a visualization of the network breach from December 2013. We have a point of sale on the left, which is compromised, which is dumping scraped credit card information to uh, this particular host, this dot .31 address. And then you have another compromised host, this dot .147, which is actually pulling the credit card information, the, the scraped credit card information back so that it can F, uh, they can FTP that information out in an exfiltration maneuver. This is essentially what happened during the target breach. Now I started from a sort of a pre-populated screen and you may be asking yourself how do we even get to that in the first place? The first step would be running some of the behavioral analysis and analytics that are built into Linksion Analyst Studio. What you're looking at is the 12 indicator of a compromise policy violation internal to internal traffic uh, behavioral analysis. If I run this, what it's essentially looking for is non-servers that are talking to each other inside my network. I'll plot this to a new link explorer, and what you'll quickly see is three internal hosts, all of which are communicating with each other, and a pause 23424, and a win seven box, and a, an, an unknown third IP address. At this point, what I would ask myself as an analyst is what else was happening and the, typically the most useful source of information is a notice. So I'm going to go and do an expansion query and see all notices that are associated with any of these hosts. And this is essentially how we would have gotten to uh, the previous screen uh, from the beginning in where those notices uh, came from in the first place. At this point, I would continue down the path um, to build out the entire visualization of that scenario and the investigation. Coming back to my built out environment, an interesting thing I can do is now I've established the full pattern of bad behavior is I can simply select all the things that I care about, abstract everything away, creating a search pattern so I could look for every other instance of this particular behavior, internal to internal, internal to internal, followed by internal to external uh, with uh, FTP exfiltration. This is the power of Linksion and taking a visualization, identifying a behavior, and then being able to take that behavior and identify every other place in our network. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this demonstration of the target breach visualization as well as the behavioral analysis aspect and identifying every other instance of that particular behavior.